of friends around the world. My name is Kazu. I welcome you all to come and visit my page. And I hope you enjoy all my posts, pictures, and video clips. I want to use this wonderful opportunity to say thank you all who have been leaving your wonderful comments, messages, and gifts. And I hope I will hear from you again. I also want to say thank you for choosing to view this video clip. Richard Falk, uh, visiting professor, Global Studies, University of California at Santa Barbara. When I think about uh, what I would like to see happen in the world, I find myself rather discouraged by the present global setting. But as I look beyond the immediate uh, present, I see the trend toward a global justice system being established where finally the peoples of the world are protected against uh, crimes by their own government and the states in the world are restrained in their use of force against one another. So if I think about the kind of world I'd like to see at the end of the 21st century, it is a world of peace and justice human solidarity, a love for the uh, wonders of nature, protection of the environment, and a sense that diversity should be celebrated rather than uh, eliminated, and that we can uh, enjoy the miracle of life on the planet without the anxieties associated with poverty, war, and the kind of human suffering that now is so prevalent in the world. My name is Gillian Sorensen. I work with the United Nations Foundation after many years of working inside the United Nations Secretariat, including for the last seven years working with Kofi Annan, the Secretary General. If we think long term, we hope for a future that is peaceful, where justice and democracy prevail, where people have hope and opportunity and employment and good health and education. That's a lot to hope for, but that is the birthright of every human being on Earth. Mm -hmm. And the United Nations is one instrument that we use mm -hmm. to bring nations forward mm -hmm. and citizens toward that better world. Yes, well, you're right. The United Nations will be marking its 60th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And of course, at the age of 60, it does need to be re renewed. It needs to think about how it, 
how it will work mm -hmm. when times have changed, obviously, since mm -hmm. it was founded. Mm -hmm. uh, it is doing that now. There's an important uh, commission uh, preparing a report on the UN in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. um, but it still represents for millions of people mm -hmm. their hope mm -hmm. uh, for a better future. Uh, it's an instrument that if it is well used by mm -hmm. member states, mm -hmm. if member states give it the resources to succeed, mm -hmm. meaning both human and financial resources, mm -hmm. then anything is possible. Mm -hmm. But the political will and the resources need to come together. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, that the United Nations is working in peacekeeping, mm -hmm. but also in development, disarmament, mm -hmm democratization, mm -hmm. in humanitarian relief for, for 20 million refugees, mm -hmm. in human rights, mm -hmm. and environmental action, mm -hmm. and much more. It's a broad and challenging agenda, mm -hmm. and there's much to be done. Need and opportunity are everywhere. For the next generation of children, mm -hmm. our best hope is that every one of them mm -hmm. will have good health mm -hmm. and nutrition, mm -hmm. they'll have immunization so they won't uh, fall ill or die of diseases. We hope they will all have at least primary education and more. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope they will grow up to be confident, mm -hmm. uh, free young adults mm -hmm. who have a, an opportunity to earn their living mm -hmm. uh, and to have a healthy family. Mm -hmm. uh, those are natural hopes that every parent has for his children. Mm -hmm. We all cherish our children. We all have dreams for their future. Mm -hmm. uh, and those dreams are possible mm -hmm. if human beings will do the right thing. I am Bob Orr. I am by day the Assistant Secretary General for Policy Planning at the United Nations, and by night uh, I go by the title Daddy. Um, I have a hope for the future that my wonderful two children, uh, Isabel and Mark, can grow up in a world in which all children share the opportunities uh, that I hope they have, and that they can uh, live in a peaceful world and coexist, and more than coexist, uh, um, feel uh, at one with peoples from all over the world. My name is Anne Veneman. I'm Executive Director of UNICEF. And the first question, what is your hope and vision for the future? Well, um, our focus is, at this time is on trying to make great progress in achieving the Millennium Development Goals, um, helping children get an education, helping to increase child survival around the world, helping to decrease maternal mortality, helping to address big issues like HIV, AIDS, um, tuberculosis, and malaria, um, helping to alleviate poverty and hunger around the world, helping to provide clean water and sanitation to the millions and millions of people who do not have it. Um, these are all part of what uh, we hope to focus on uh, so that we can make progress in achieving the Millennium Development Goals and thereby helping children. Hmm. Well, I would hope that in a hundred years we would see no more unnecessary deaths from diseases that are preventable, that children would have access to new generations of vaccines, that there would be no one suffering from hunger anywhere around the world, that all children would have an equal opportunity to get a quality education, boys and girls alike, um, that the world would have access to um, the basics of living, whether it's good shelter, water, sanitation. Um, I think this is the world I'd like to see in the future.